Week 13 of the 2021 college football season is over, and today, as we head into week 14 and conference championship week, I'll be giving you guys my updated college football rankings. And looking back at week 13, one of the best weekends of college football that I can remember in recent history. I mean, with rivalry week coming back for the first time in a couple of years, um, we saw some major matchups. We saw some major upsets as well. It was quite a weekend. So that being said, I think we're bound for a very exciting finish as we head into the postseason. So let's get into our rankings for week 14, starting out with one through seven. Georgia remains number one. They beat Georgia Tech 45 to nothing this past weekend. They are 12 and 0 undefeated and they are bound for the SEC championship game. They will be taking on Alabama this upcoming weekend. And that's going to be quite a game there. I mean, Alabama, of course, did not have their best game this weekend. They played Auburn on the road in the Iron Bowl 24 to 22. It went into four overtimes and that game was very close from start to finish. Uh, Auburn, I mean, they they held Alabama's offense to three points for the majority of that game. Um, so huge credit to Auburn. And I mean, that's a big thing for Alabama to get the win there because they'd be pretty much eliminated from college football playoff contention if they were to lose that game. So that was huge for the Crimson Tide. And yeah, this is going to be a, certainly a crazy matchup coming up here this weekend between Georgia and Alabama. Michigan jumps up to number two. They finally knocked off Ohio State for the first time in a decade, 42 to 27 was the final score. And it was a snowy game. It was quite a game and quite a matchup between Michigan and Ohio State, one of the best rivalries in the sport. Uh, Michigan is 11 and one, moving up two positions and they get Iowa in the Big Ten Championship game this upcoming weekend. Michigan, I had them at number four last week. I kind of had a feeling that that game would be um, as close as it's been in a few years. and. I thought Ohio State was going to win, I'll be honest, um, as did many other people. But Michigan, huge credit to them. Jim Harbaugh finally knocks off Ohio State. And the Wolverines are a step only one game away from being in the college football playoff. Oklahoma State's my number four. They knocked off the Sooners, 37-33. That was also quite a game last night. I mean, the Cowboys, I mean, against Oklahoma, the Sooners, uh, they've had some trouble against Oklahoma in recent years. And so that was a huge win for Oklahoma State. And they are very much in the college football playoff picture. And they may be one of the big surprise teams of this season, I'll be honest. I mean, I expected Oklahoma State to be a good football team, but suddenly, I mean, over the past few weeks, like the past three or four weeks, this team has creeped into the college playoff picture, and I think they've kind of flown under many, uh, many radars over the past few weeks, and Oklahoma State is now getting a lot of attention. They are very much a college football playoff contender. They win this weekend. They're in the college football playoff, and I've got them jumping Cincinnati as well. I consider putting the Bearcats in, in my top four, but I think Oklahoma State, their strength of schedule is 10 times better than Cincinnati's. And the way they've been playing recently, yeah, the Cowboys are very much a college football playoff contender. And that team, I mean, they're dangerous. Uh, Cincinnati's my number five. They beat East Carolina 35 to 13. I don't know about the Bearcats. I mean, they're 12 and 0. They're undefeated. They've played, I mean, a couple of decent teams. They beat up SMU, but. I mean, they also beat Notre Dame a few weeks back. I mean, almost a couple months back now. But for Cincinnati, they got Houston this upcoming weekend. We'll see how they do in that game. They got to win convincing, though. For me to think that Cincinnati should be a top four team, they got to win convincingly against Houston. This is upcoming weekend. And I think the committee, they're going to, I'm pretty sure the committee is going to take a two loss Alabama. If Alabama loses this weekend, there's a very good chance, especially if it's a close game, that Alabama stays in the top four, potentially even stays at number three. Um, if it's a blowout and Georgia beats Alabama by three or four touchdowns, which is very possible, um, I'm not sure that the Crimson Tide will be in the top four, but there's still a chance um, that the committee decides that a two-loss Alabama deserves it over a undefeated Cincinnati, which Bearcats lose this weekend. Obviously, they're out of the picture, but yeah, a lot of things are um, still in play for the Bearcats, and I'm not sure they really control their own destiny. I mean, there's a lot of opinions around, and Cincinnati is number four in the college football playoff rankings for uh, week 13. We'll see where they are for week 14. Uh, but for the Bearcats, they got to win convincing for um, this upcoming weekend if if I think they should be a top four team. Oklahoma State, though, I mean, potentially, I'd say this top four that I've got right here is very possible. Um, this could easily be what the top four looks like after next weekend. Um, Georgia, number one, if they beat Alabama, as I expect them to. Uh, Michigan beats Iowa. They'll, stay, or they'll go up to number two. And then Oklahoma State at number four, if they beat Baylor, I think is very possible. Uh, but Cincinnati, of course, is the one team that is kind of in the background there. Notre Dame, they don't really have a chance at the college football playoff because they lost to Cincinnati. And that game is uh, that, that game between Cincinnati and Notre Dame 
Uh, turns out that was actually a huge match for both those teams. And we knew, we kind of knew at the time, but looking at it now, I mean, it's huge because Notre Dame is number six and not even really in the picture. But you know, Ohio State's number seven. They lost to Michigan 27-42. Crazy game. Uh, once again, that's going to be one I'll remember for a long time. Uh, Ohio State lost that one. They're moving down five positions. Buckeyes, I had them at number two. And after beating Michigan State, I was, I kind of thought like Ohio State, I'm not sure. I mean, this Ohio State team may be the one team that can beat Georgia. But the way that they played against Michigan, I don't know if it was the weather. Um, the weather definitely had a big impact, I can guarantee you. Michigan's also more of a, uh, a more of a rushing offense too, which makes a difference. Um, Ohio State obviously got those three receivers and CJ Stroud couldn't do much in the snow. Um, so for Ohio State, that's just a tough outcome there. They're 10 and two. Uh, they should still definitely get to a good New Year's Six Bowl game, potentially even the Rose Bowl. I wouldn't be surprised if they made it over Iowa. Um, so we'll see what happens there. But Ohio State, I mean, that's a great season. That's a great football team that's got a bright future, um, even though they're, of course, losing a couple of receivers there but and a couple of major talent players and key players. But Ohio State is a very good football team, and, yeah, huge credit to them on a great season. Moving on to 8 through 14, Ole Miss is my number eight. They beat Mississippi State 31-21 on Thanksgiving night and are 10-2. Great season for the Rebels. It'll be fun to see how they do in their New Year's Six Bowl game. Baylor's my number nine. They beat Texas Tech 27-24. Solid win for the Bears. They're 10-2, and, and they're competing in the Big 12 title game. Who would have seen that coming? Uh, the Bears, many people expected them to struggle to even get to a bowl game, get up to six wins, and here they are at 10-2 and, and currently ranked at my number nine heading into conference championship week. Michigan State's my number 10. They beat Penn State 30 to 27. I wasn't too sure whether the Spartans would win that game or not, considering they just got annihilated by Ohio State the weekend before. Um, hardly even scored in that game, and Ohio State just ran all over them. But yeah, for Michigan State, that's a good win against Penn State 30 to 27. Uh, Penn State obviously being their rival, and uh, just kind of been a rough go at it for Penn State the past few weeks. But a good win for Michigan State. They're 10 and 2, moving up one position after that win. Oregon. Be Oregon State 38 to 29. Oregon State's a good football team this season, actually. And so for Oregon, yeah, solid win in the Civil War. They are 10 and 2. And even though Oregon uh, has no chance at the college football playoff anymore, that's still a very good football team. It'll be fun to see uh, whether Oregon or Utah will go to the Rose Bowl. Uh, Oregon plays Utah in a rematch this upcoming weekend um, on Friday, actually, for a chance to get to the Rose Bowl and the Pac-12 title. So. Yeah, it should be a fun game there. Oklahoma, they lost to Oklahoma State 33 to uh, 37. Yeah, just a tough loss there for the Sooners, and they're 10 and 2. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what bowl game Oklahoma is able to get to. Um, New Year's Six bowl game is still within reach, but I think the Alamo Bowl is a pretty reasonable bet now uh, for the Sooners. But still, been a good season for Oklahoma. There have been a couple of tough losses, but they're 10 and 2. And uh, yeah, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State and Baylor, that's going to be quite a game in the Big 12 title game, but obviously kind of tough for the Sooners not being able to get there. BYU beat USC on the road 35-31. to They're 10-2, moving up six positions after that win. Not a very impressive win against USC, but of course there were a couple of teams that lost in the middle there, so I think it was fair to put BYU ahead of Utah um, this, this week here. And BYU, they've had a great season on another surprise team as well. I mean, BYU, not many people expected them to be very good, but um, especially considering all that they lost after 2020. But BYU is, I mean, that's a good football team there. It'll be fun to see how they do in their bowl game. Utah's my number 14. They beat Colorado 20-13. to Not a very impressive win. I mean, the Buffaloes are a pretty terrible football team this season, but they're 9-3, and and they've got a chance to win a Pac-12 title game and get to the Rose Bowl as well this upcoming Friday. So, yeah, Oregon-Utah, that's going to be a huge game for the Pac-12. Moving on to 15-21, through 21, Iowa remains at number 15. They beat Nebraska 28 to 21 and are 10 and 2. Uh, definitely a close game there. Wasn't too impressed by Iowa's performance. Uh, they had to come back in that game, but it'll be very interesting to see how they do in the Big Ten title game against Michigan this upcoming weekend. Pittsburgh's my number 16. They beat Syracuse 31 to 14, moving up four positions after that win, and there are 10 and 2. Uh, Pittsburgh gets Wake Forest in the ACC title game this weekend. Uh, so Pitt very much has a a uh, very reasonable shot at winning an ACC title this season. Clemson is number 17. They beat South Carolina 30 to nothing. Clemson is extremely improved, and I've said that over the past couple of weeks. But yeah, Clemson is a totally different football team versus what we saw back in September and are a lot better. They're playing at their highest level um, so far this season, and yeah, it's had the best time of year. And Clemson 
whoever has to play Clemson in a bowl game, it's going to be a tough game for them. And yeah, Clemson is 9-3 and three after the regular season. And South Carolina, they're a bowl team. They got up to six wins. And Clemson knocked them out 30 to nothing. Houston is number 18. They beat UConn 45-17. to 17. Obviously, it's UConn, so you can't really um, take that win and say it's a quality win. But yeah, Houston, they're 11-1. They've had a great season, and they're remaining at number 18. Kentucky is my number 19. They've got Louisville, or they had Louisville, 52-21. to 21. Very impressive win. Louisville is a decent football team, and Kentucky made that game look easy. And they're 9-3, and three, moving up four positions after that win. Wake Forest is number 20. They beat Boston College on the road 41 to 10, moving up four positions after that win. They are 10 and 2, and got a chance at an ACC title. Personally, I think Pittsburgh is my favorite to win the ACC title game. I trust them a lot more over Wake Forest, but then again, Demon Deacons looked great against Boston College, so we'll see what happens. NC State is my number 21. They beat North Carolina 34 to 30, and they're entering the rankings this week at 21. And they are 9-3. and three. So NC State, they've kind of been the background of the ACC all season. But a good win. And NC State is a, uh, they're a pretty good football team. Definitely a team to watch out for as we head into bowl season. On to 22 through 25. Texas and lost to LSU 24-27. Just a tough loss in Ed Orgeron's final game coaching LSU. He will not be coaching the bowl game. Uh, so his last game for him. And he went out with a great win over Texas and And the Aggies are 8-4. and Four, four loss football team. And uh, they're moving down six positions after that loss, but they're still definitely worthy of being a top 25 team. Wisconsin lost to Minnesota 13-23. That was a playing game to get into the Big Ten title game. So if Wisconsin would have won that game, they would be facing Michigan um, for the title. But in the end, took a loss against Minnesota 13-23, moving down nine positions after that game. Uh, their offense just looked flat all that game. And defensively, uh, had a couple of bad drives, and that's really what cost the game for them. And they're eight and four. San Diego State beat Boise State 27 to 16. I just haven't been too impressed by San Diego State this season. I mean, 11 and one is a very good record, but I'd say Houston has been a better team in comparison to San Diego State. So that's why I've got um, the Cougars ahead of the Aztecs here. But yeah, San Diego State is number 24 for me this week. And then Arkansas rounds it up at 25. They beat Missouri 34 to 17. Entering the rankings this week, they're eight and four. First five out, Louisiana. They had, I mean, they won this weekend, but they just looked terrible in that game. So I'm going to be dropping them out and allowing Wisconsin, San Diego State, Arkansas, etc. ahead of them. UTSA, of course, lost to North Texas. Bad game for the Roadrunners, and uh, they took their first loss of the season. And uh, that team is unfortunately, um, I mean, that's just a tough loss for UTSA there. I mean, that's a good football team and. It was tough that they took a loss and couldn't get up to 12-0. Minnesota's my number 28 after beating Wisconsin. Purdue's 29, kind of in the background. And then Utah State is number 30. Dropped out this week. Number 17 from last week was UTSA, and 22 was Louisiana. That wraps it up for this week for my rankings. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on these rankings, and I appreciate you guys are watching, as always. Should be a fun week, conference championship week, coming towards the end of this season. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more from All Sports Central. I'll see you later.